Archaeopteryx was the first fossil discovered with sort of unequivocal evidence of feather impressions actually preserved as part of the fossil. And obviously that immediately sparked a debate about its place in the, in the evolutionary story um, and whether this was in fact a bird or a dinosaur or the so-called missing link between the two. And obviously as we've more fossils have subsequently come to light and we've come to understand the story more, we now know that this was just one of many, many feathered dinosaurs in that, in that lineage that ultimately led to, to birds today. It's a good example in terms of, although this is actually uh, quite an old, old fossil discovered some time ago, new techniques mean that we can study and interrogate these old fossils in new ways and new microscopic techniques mean that we've actually been able to really look at this fossil in incredible detail um, to actually find the, uh, is it melanosomes? I think it's the term, mm -hmm. isn't it? For the, um, the, the pigmentary structures uh, that were within the, within the feather. Um, and so that's why we've been able to start to piece together what the colour schemes of this species and other species um, might have been like. It's still a, especially in the case of Archaeopteryx, it's still an area of slightly open debate, but there is strong evidence of, of dark pigmentation certainly in some of the um in some of the primary feathers which has led obviously to the the reconstruction that you can see here the uh, predominantly black and white monochrome scheme was probably the most likely um that also fits in with what we know its environment was uh, and so i went you know by my standards this is a very very sort of conservative reconstruction there's nothing there that kind of deviates from what we know from the fossil record. This was particularly detailed in terms of even the numbers of primary feathers on the, the wings and feathers on the legs and whatever. It was down to that level of detail, making sure they're all the right size, the right number, all that kind of stuff. So this was, this was a particularly kind of rigorous, rigorous illustration. And I say the fact that it was being displayed along right next to a life-size replica of the famous Archaeopteryx fossil, it just kind of adds that level of I won't say pressure, but you know that your artwork is going to be judged alongside the real thing. So that's why getting these, these little details are, are particularly important for an illustration like that one.